so now we're pretending we're like the small lab group because eventually you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to be the group doing this. All right? And what were some central ideas you saw out of that, that text? On that, like, even though uh, exergonic reactions happen spontaneously, they may take a really long time to happen. So if you add an enzyme, it'll, like, speed it up a lot. Good. All right. And where were you pulling that from? Was that the first paragraph? Or yeah, the, the first paragraph. This first paragraph. Right. All right. So let's try and bring that alive. All right. So this is the model system we're going to use to try and make sense of the text visually. All right. So what Carson was saying there was, right, this is our sucrose. Right. It's our glucose and our fructose. Right. And is it going to hydrolyze? Slowly, right? But what if we look at this over here, right? And we have the same thing. We have the glucose and the fructose together. It combines to make sucrose. And the sucrose molecule collides with the enzyme, right? And notice what's going to happen. The enzyme is going to change its shape, right? And that is going to contort the sucrose, right? And so how are we going to represent it with this model is, you see this oxygen right there? Now that oxygen, that is a very important bond. Do you remember back from our carbohydrate days? Car, car, carbohydrates, sugars like glucose. But instead, today, right? Today, uh, work that in. Uh, we got sucrose. So starch and sucrose today, right? So this is a glycol link. It's the bond that's holding this together, and this enzyme is going to contort it during this collision and it's going to change the shape of it. Now that's how I'm representing it two-dimensionally with this model system. Right? And then what's going to be the result of that? It's going to do hydrolysis. What does that mean? What does hydrolysis mean? What are we going to do? What does hydro mean? take those terms and apply them to the model system we have. What you literally do is going to be the same, but we should be able to apply more terminology to that process. What terminology can we add to this same system we've been using here? The sucrose, yeah, yeah, the sucrose is the substrate. Excellent. And um, the, well, when it's connected with the enzyme and the H2O is on the, like the carbo bond right, right there in the middle of the bond, the H2O is there. That's the enzyme substrate complex. Okay. So when they're connected? Connected, yeah, yep. basically. And um, the active site is like where everything connects, where the sucrose connects so to the enzyme. So this? Yeah, the, per the pink. Perfect. Purple. Yep. Um, and the induced fit is when the little flaps, I guess, like fold to meet the shape of the sucrose. 